Welcome. Um, so in this case, we have sine of x divided by cosecant of x plus cosine of x divided by secant of x. Now, initially, when looking at this problem, you say, ah, oh, fractions. I don't want to have to add, because we know when we have to add fractions, we have to get common denominators, right? And therefore, we have to find the common denominator between cosecant and secant. Therefore, we'd have to multiply the top and bottom by, um, by both of these to make sure we get a common denominator of cosecant times secant of x. Now, by doing that, you'll actually be able to get something that actually is not going to be that bad, um, at least algebraically. But I also wanted to let you know that you know, there's another way we can also rewrite this. Um, it, to be able to rewrite this here, I can rewrite this as sine of x times 1 over cosecant of x. And I was telling my students today, you know, they're having a problem with that. I can rewrite 3 fourths. That's the same thing as 3 times 1 fourth, right? And the reason why I want to write it, the reason why I thought of to writing it this way is because by looking at my um, reciprocal identities, when I have an, a, a function over 1, I know I can use my reciprocal identities. All right. So here I have sine of x times 1 over cosecant of x. Well, 1 over cosecant of x is sine. So really, I have sine of x times sine of x. And you would have found out this exact same thing if you would have multiplied this by secant over secant here by um, cosecant over cosecant um, to try to add up the fractions. Um, you would have got the exact same thing. But here, then I have cosine um, of x times cosine of x as 1 over secant is equal to cosine of x. Now, you can see I have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x. Now, by using my Pythagorean identities, I know that sine squared plus cosine squared equals so therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you um, simplify this trigonometric equation. Thanks.